Valor Edge Times. Did it spare? But we got it. Welcome to Kampala Edge Times. As usual, it's uh, John Kenny uh, bringing to you the latest updates right here on uh, our YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in this Saturday. I am sure this Saturday is a beautiful one. Uh, wherever you're watching from, you can tell us where you're watching from in the comment section right there. You can subscribe if you're new to this channel because we keep bringing the latest updates every weekend. You can always find the latest updates right here around the globe from Kampala to the rest of the earth. Uh, now, trending right now is Eternals, the new Marvel movie that is coming out featuring Angelina Jolie. You know Angelina Jolie from uh, the, uh, the Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. I am sure this movie is going to take over the earth because it's one of Marvel's latest presents that were supposed to come out last year uh, although coronavirus and several other circumstances delayed everything watch this clip five years ago Thanos erased half of the population of the universe but the people of this planet brought everyone back with a snap of a finger the sudden return of the population provided the necessary energy for the emergence to begin. How long do we have? Seven days. Are you ready for Marvel? Marvel is back this November releasing Eternals featuring Angelina Jolie from Maleficent Mistress of Evil. The Marvel Cinematic Universe's phase 4 is off with a bang. First, Black Widow debuted on Disney+, Plus, followed by Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings in cinemas. Now, we are looking forward to The Eternals, a film set to truly shake up the MCU as we know it. Eternals is unique within the MCU for many reasons, but one of the most exciting is that it's directed by Oscar winner Chloe Zhao, Nomadland. The then there is the sheer size of the star-studded cast and the mythology into which the movie is going to tap. With its memorable one-word title, Eternal, it is certainly a film on every Marvel lover's mind. Here's what we know so far about the upcoming movie. When it was first announced, Marvel's Eternal was set to land in cinemas in November on 6th 2020 happens to be my birthday, making it the second movie in Phase 4. But given the huge delays, Marvel's Eternals was pushed back to November 5th, 2021. The movie will be released in cinemas, given Shang-Chi's success and Disney's seeming pullback from its day and date releases. It's unlikely Eternals will come out on Disney Plus until well after its likely exclusive cinematic to run. The cast itself is stuffed with stars we've finally been able to gush over thanks to the trailers. The official synopsis reads, Marvel Studios Eternals features an exciting new team of superheroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, ancient aliens who have been living on Earth in secret for thousands of years following the events of Avengers Endgame. An unexpected tragedy forces them out of the shadows to reunite against mankind's most ancient enemies, the Deviants. Eternals will for the first time feature a prominent LGBTQ relationship, and we got our first glance in their family in a recently released TV spot above. We only know as much as we can be gleaned from the various trailers and teasers, but Eternals seems promisingly epic in the scope. Let's just keep our fingers crossed right here on Kampala Times. We can shall keep following up um, the release of this epic masterpiece, Eternals. Etran is back. Etran has released his Echoes album. Yesterday, Friday, we saw Etran release his Echoes album. Although he is at home in quarantine, Etran has officially released his long awaited Echoes album, which directly follows the recent number six collaboration where he featured several artists like Justin Bieber, Banner Boy, Travis Scott, and many more. However, 
Equals is a sequel to his 2017 Divide album, which indicates that he is aiming at completing the mathematics calculation symbols. The album features 14 tracks, mostly romantic, acoustic, bassy, and soul lifting music. He announced a break from music at the end of 2019. And despite dropping his surprise single Afterglow back in December 2020, Ed Sheeran's music has certainly been missed by many people across the world. But the new dad, that's in quotes because he actually has a child right now, he hasn't kept his fans waiting for too long. He released this new single, Bad Habits, in June 2021, which of course shot straight to number one along with a brand new music video. He finally released his Equals album yesterday, the 29th of October 2021. Ed has been sharing short sneak peeks from each of the songs, which has kept fans super excited. And yes, indeed, I personally have given it a thorough listen. I think it's a solid master. Gigi and Zayn Malik are apparently split up because Zayn was accused by his mother-in-law for hitting her uh, during an argument. Zayn and Gigi Hadid have a baby, and this is really absurd. Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid have reportedly split up after the former One Direction singer was accused of striking the model's mom. Yolanda Hadid, 57, claimed on Thursday that her daughter's lover struck her, a claim the musician strongly denies. Zayn and Gigi share 13 month old Kai together and were first rumored to be dating in 2015. Following the allegations, the former One Direction man denied he struck the mother of his girlfriend following an argument. But the pop star has agreed to not contest claims being uh, made in US media that he had hit reality TV star Yolanda. He issued a statement saying, I adamantly deny striking Yolanda Hadid and for the sake of my daughter I decline to give any further details and I hope that Yolanda will reconsider her false allegations and move towards healing these family issues in private. Former housewife star Yolanda refused to comment when approached while in Manhattan. People magazine is reporting that Zayn and Gigi have gone their separate ways. The outlet reports that multiple sources have confirmed that the supermodel who is only 26 years old and the singer 28 have broken up. A source said they are not together right now. They are both good parents though. They co-parent. Yolanda is of course very protective of Gigi. She wants the best for her daughter and grandchild. Gigi's representative said that Gigi solely focused on the best of Kai. She asked for privacy during this time. According to the reports in the US, the incident happened at the American television personality and the former models ranch in Pennsylvania. News is trending about Facebook changing their name from Facebook to Meta. A photo of Zuckerberg uh, in the background uh, with an infinity icon showing the word Meta. Uh, there are a lot of speculations and you might get this wrong if you don't watch Kampala at time. So, watch this clip to understand better what really is changing at Facebook. Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg announced on Thursday that the corporate name of the social media platform will change to Meta. To emphasize its Metaverse vision, the flagship social network will keep its name. From now on, we are going to be Metaverse first, not Facebook. Zuckerberg said during a keynote address at the company's annual developers conference, I hope that all people come to know the meta brand and the future that we stand for. Zuckerberg said the company's future will focus on building virtual reality products that connect users through a different medium. He predicted that 1 billion people will be on the metaverse in the next decade. The company describes the metaverse as three-dimensional virtual space where users can create avatars that represent them. Zuckerberg said the new virtual reality world would allow users to play video games, watch movies, attend concerts, collaborate with colleagues, and gather with friends without leaving their room. Zuckerberg called Facebook, which he launched from his college dorm room in 2004, an iconic social media company, but added that the name no longer encompasses everything the company does. Right now, our brand is so tightly linked to one product that it can't possibly represent everything that we are doing today, let alone in the future, said Zuckerberg. The company is also changing its stock ticker from FB to MVRS, effective December 1st. In August, Zuckerberg told 
Kampala Age Times, the metaverse is the next generation of the internet. He explained that instead of being an internet that we look at right on our mobile phones or on our computer screens, it's an internet that we are a part of or that we can be inside of. Wow, let's watch the space because it looks like uh, Mark Zuckerberg is bringing in a lot of new stuff uh, and the internet might change with metaverse as he calls it formerly known as Facebook. Thank you so much for watching uh, until the end of the bulletin. I, John Kenny, it's my pleasure to bring to you all these stories the way they are, unspiced and diluted because <laughs> that's what I do for you. Thank you so much. And from me and the uh, Kampala Edge Times team, I want to say ciao. We'll meet again next time. Kampala Edge Times. Did it spare? But we got it.